Pink, great performer, Comcast On Demand. In Demand, whenever I go across the Night Street Bridge, Richard DeAngelis and those great donuts. And Coons Market, getting ready to welcome the Pirates back to PNC Park after their recent West Coast trip with some Utz chips. Here we go, Buckos, right? 1-800-BUY-BUCKS. They host Washington tomorrow night. More on that in a moment. And if you're thinking about a party at home tonight, on the way home, you stop at Coons Markets and you buy a couple of pounds of Isley's Chip Tam, get out the crock pot, and you simply add the flavor to savor. Isley's Barbecue Sauce. And you got to have this, folks, right? Arnie, half tea, half lemonade at Coons Market. And my friend Steve Sheets, they've got it at Sheets Convenience Store. And I'm hoping that those Sheets Convenience Stores that are able to sell brew, as in Calcutta, Ohio, will add this to their list. Coons Market already has it. And a number of folks right here in my region are starting to pick it up. It's Rooney's. And, of course, it won't be long before they're headed to camp at St. Vincent in Latrobe. And for your sweet tooth, I'm taking care of everyone today, folks. Sarah's Candy, Norm Candelor, Go Pittsburgh. More on the pens in a moment. But as I told you moments ago, my guest list tonight, after the Allegheny Health Network program, Medical Frontiers with Dr. Gerald Pfeiffer, it'll be John Hudson, former Secret Service agent, talking about the FBI director and exactly the resume, what they're looking for, and the duties of the job. And we're going to throw out some of the names that have been out there of late as far as possible replacements. And the James Comey story just won't go away. So what does the president do to put that behind them? And North Korea talking about they could put a nuke head on these missiles. And of course, the latest one landing 60 yards off the coast of Russia. Now Russia is in the mix. Vladimir Putin says they will step up air maneuvers and they are combat ready. And now China as well. So lots of things going on because of North Korea. We're going to be discussing all of that tonight. Now, we also take care of news, what's happening on the state level and local as well, giving you a chance to phone in with your opinion in that very first hour after John Hudson joins us. The governor says the convention surplus should go to the taxpayers. We'll be talking about that tonight. And then in the 9 o'clock hour, along with that story, getting an opinion from Dr. Terry Madonna, Franklin and Marshall, we will preview tomorrow's primary election. Please get out there and vote, everyone plus everything that's been going on in the world of the president. Cyber attacks, are there more to come? Interesting stuff and also frightening stuff too when you think about what could happen to our national security. That will be on the table for discussion tonight as well. And then in the 10 o'clock hours, I mentioned Greg Diola's Vantage Management Group back-checking the pens and looking ahead to game three. Now, speaking of the pens, that game will be at 8 o'clock on the NBC Sports Network. Pirates got a homer in the 10th from Jose Asuna, and they beat Arizona 6-4 yesterday. They are now six games out of first place. They've got 16 wins on the season, a lot of baseball left. You've got Steven Strasburg pitching tomorrow night for Washington against Chad Cool. 1-800-5-BUCKS. Get a seat. Get to PNC Park, the greatest ballpark in America. And as always, you can hear it on 93.7 The Fan. What else in the way of sports over the weekend? Siwoo Kim, a 21-year-old from South Korea, congratulations, young man, won himself the Players' Championship. He gets a three-year exemption now at the Masters at Augusta. That is an amazing feat. The youngest ever to win it, what they call the fifth major. Now, coming up Wednesday, right here on my Facebook blog, you'll be hearing on the Comcast Sports Line a great student of the game and a great storyteller of the game, former professional caddy, now the director of golf services at the incredible Diamond Run, Mickey Graziani. We'll be talking about that recent Players' Championship, but also the game of golf. And this is maybe one of the most important months up and coming. The Byron Nelson this weekend, the AT&T Byron Nelson, the great Byron Nelson at one time, 11 consecutive victories on the PGA Tour. That is coming up, along with Jack Nicholas, the Golden Bear who holds the records for the most majors in the game at 18. His tournament... The Memorial, Dublin, Ohio, coming up June 1st through the 4th. And then Danny Thomas, his legacy, and now his daughter Marlo carrying on that great tradition of St. Jude's Hospital. No child turned away, suffering from dreaded diseases like cancer. The St. Jude's Classic, always one of my favorite tournaments. And then it'll be the U.S. Open at Aaron Hill. So we're going to talk to Mickey Graziani coming up Wednesday. You'll see it early Wednesday afternoon right here discussing golf. Ladies and gentlemen, that will do it. 
And I just would like to say thank you so much for joining me today in the Pratt Pack Gym. And don't forget tonight, we start at 7 with the Allegheny Health Network program Medical Frontiers on News Radio 1020 KDKA. Good afternoon.